Hi, I'm Andrew with Baker's Gas. We're here today with the all-new Dynasty 210. Um, so in this video, we're going to go over the features of the Dynasty 210. Um, we're going to weld with it and uh, just kind of give you a little overview of what it comes with, how it welds, and some of the options that come on. So let's dive right in here. I got, got it set up. Um, there was some minor assembly required, I will tell you that. Uh, but other than that, came, you had to put the TIG torch on, you had to connect all the connections, the ground on, the wireless foot pedal, had to plug that in, um, got it all set up. You had to put together your TIG torch, obviously, it comes out of the package. One of the things that you had to put on, and I'll walk around here, uh, were the, the mounting brackets here for these. So these are the hold ground, stinger, and TIG torch, and then on the other side is your foot pedal holder. So your wireless foot pedal goes in there. But this package here is a complete TIG runner package. It comes with water cooler and all the stuff you need to get going on TIG welding. Um, and it comes with a, st a stick electrode holder, ground obviously, so you can stick weld with this unit as well. Come with four gallons of coolant, a uh, starter TIG kit for the uh, TIG torch, um, and then all your other uh, accessories that I, you see plugged in here. But on this unit, we got a Coolmate 1.3, on the back of it, it has an auxiliary 120 volt plug already built in for the Coolmate. So you just had to basically plug, just plug that in right there. And that's your 110 power for the Coolmate. Drawing off the back, I put my gas connection, gas solenoid in the back. So this unit will do 120 volt and for then 208 all the way up to 460 volt. So it does a wide range of voltages. So you can run 110 on this. Um, and it has a 100% duty cycle at 75 amps on 110, which is really impressive for what this unit is. Now on 230, it has, at 200 amps, has a 60% duty cycle. Um, we got it hooked up to 230, and, uh, but this thing will do single or three phase as well. But just to show you, right in the very menu, beginning menu here, I had it on DC, and I got my pulser set up, but if you want to go to home, oh, I'm sorry, we go to process here, and we go up to AC TIG High Freak Start, DC TIG High Freak Start, and then we got AC TIG, DC TIG, but lift arc, then AC sticks and DC sticks. So those are the processes this unit will run. Just for the heck of it, we'll click on AC TIG, we'll go home, and now we're on AC TIG High Freak, we're at 210 amps. We got, obviously our process, right? We picked that, go back home, trigger. We got our foot pedal hooked up, but you can see now on this new 210, and this is standard now, gonna be on all the dynasties, there is this four and a half inch display with all the pictures to show you, hey, this is what it is. Now you can hook a corded foot pedal to this, but we have a wireless. Um, you got your fingertip control, whether that be a left or right, up and down. Um, then we have push button, push button hold, so that's a 2T trigger. We have 4T, which is Right, where it gives you a depiction, push and release trigger. So it just has different settings for the, uh, how you want to set it up. I just have the remote amperage control on there. Pulse, we did have it on, and you can see we had 100 pulses per second, which is their pro set feature right out of the gate. Um, awesome little unit for pulse. We got our AC wave. I have my AC frequency at 250 hertz. Balance, remember that, that's our cleaning and penetrating function of our AC wave. We had soft square. And then we can turn on the advanced, where we enable it, here, we'll go back. We can enable that, and then it opens up all this other, we can ad separately adjust our waveform on the positive or negative side of things. Um, pretty neat. Enable that, and we go into each one of these, like commutation, like most people, what does that mean? Well, gives me a, provides a less aggressive, softer, less audible arc, or we have high commutation, provides a more aggressive, focused, and audible arc. So it kind of gives you a description now. So awesome on these new dynasties because we're, a lot of times people had a lot of questions, well, they just didn't know it, or it said that, or it had a high and a low, and everyone's like, well, what does that mean? Well, now they put a picture, we can see it. Pretty awesome. So we'll just we'll go back in here, we'll disable that, and I'll show you too what it says on our balance. So you can see, that's our pro set, pro set balance. So if we get out of whack, pro set goes right back to 75. But that's in the middle of the range. But as we go down, you can see our picture changes. And it shows you what's gonna happen to your, 
your tungsten and your bead profile and everything. And as we go up, it shows you what happens. A little bit more crud in the pile than that. Or we can just go right back to ProSet. I'm gonna leave it at ProSet. Um, I find that that 75 works well. But it gives you a uh, depiction on everything that's happening. So very cool, very interactive. I like that a lot. Um, minimizes a lot of the questions that we get because now you can clearly see what we're doing or what you're changing. So we'll go back and we'll change my frequency. Now, I had it at 250, Pro Set's at 120. I like 250, it seems to run well, and especially on AC. I like 250, but you can see it's changing my picture up here of what I'm doing as I go up or as I go down, right? It, so 250 is really narrowing my arc out. Leave it at 250, click on that. So that's it, and we'll go back home, and then now we're back into this. So pulser, um, I had a hundred, but we can turn that off too, and then that'll be off. And then, then it goes to your tungsten, right? So you choose your diameter tungsten. So there used to be a secret menu in the old dynasties that you had to hit two buttons at once to get to this. Now we can just pick on it, choose our size tungsten, O2O, all the way up to general or eighth inch, right? So 100 to 400 amps for eighth inch. And right, it gives you an amperage range. I got 332nd in there, so we we're 60 to 250. So we're, we're all set there. We did it. And that's actually the pro set is 332nd. So go back, go home. So now we got 210 amps on AC. Pretty awesome. So let me jump in back over to processes here and uh, tell you a little bit about um, this new feature that they have called Quiet Pulse. So we'll turn our pulser on. And it is on. I got 500 pulses per second. So Quiet Pulse came out, um, and it quiets down uh, the the noise, the audible noise from the pulsing process. So only does it on DC in the sine or triangle wave formations. So it, 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 it quiets it way, way down. And I'll show you. I'll run the difference between the two. Um, new technology, new on all the dynasties that are currently coming out in the future. The older stuff. There's another option for that, but this one has quiet pulse on it. So when I'm welding, I'll, I'll, I'll make a distinction to tell you, hey, this is when we're gonna change the quiet pulse. Awesome unit, but very simple. If we just go back home, we can get in our menu then. So when I hit the home button, there's a menu. Pull up the menu. We can change our pre-flow, post-flow, and purge. Go back, system information. Gives you all the system logs, arc time counter unit. I mean, everything that you can think of that would be your factory reset now is easier to get to. Now we can just default hit factory reset. If we get something goofed up in our settings, we don't know how to fix it. Back in the day, you had to do a sequence of button pushing and to get back there. System, or I'm sorry, lock, lock code on. So there's a lock for this. So you could set a code and you could lock it out if you were going to lunch or something along those lines. Cooler power supply. What I did do is I, I turned it on auto and I believe it came on auto, but you can turn off, on, or auto. I like auto because you can see right now it's not running. If we turned it on, it's just gonna continuously run. Uh, some people like that. I just like it on auto. Go back. You can change the language on this unit, which we will not do, we're gonna keep, but there's a bunch of languages on there, pretty awesome. Um, USB, you can see right there's our USB. If we were to get into that, we plug a USB in, that screen would light up. And then we could obviously enable some of those functions. Back to the menu. We got weld timers, which is just a, um, you know, for like spot timer and that sort of thing. If you're just doing a couple of second weld each time. 14 pin E control, and that's gonna do amperage our external pulse. So that kind of gives you two two functions here. Turn turn on when you're desired to control the machine from the external source, a compound voltage, right? So it's gonna control your pulse. But we're gonna just do amperage control. We'll go back out of there. And then we got a sleep timer. How the sleep timer is, you can set it from one minute to an hour. It'll automatically shut down the machine. Or put it into a sleep mode, I should say. Uh, the power will still be on but it goes off and basically kills all power to the machine until you hit the foot pedal and then it fires it back up. So awesome unit for what, everything that comes with it, you know, you got 210 amps at your thing, you got 120 or 210, or 220, I'm sorry, and you can run either power supply on that 
we got it hooked up to 220, so let's give this thing a shot. We're gonna weld with it, um, and I'll show you some different stuff. This thing a shot here. Um, I'll, I'll run through real quick on the, uh, we got it on DC. I'll run through the quiet pulse here, uh, which is standard on this unit now. It wasn't uh, a while ago, but it is now. So I got 150 amps. We got 500 pulses per second. This is just pure demo purpose. I'll show you. I'm not gonna add filler material, but I'll show you the difference here, but we're gonna pulse. Um, so I got my tungsten sharpened up here. So remember, this is on, we got it on, let's just double check. Quick, yep, we're on sine wave. So 500 pulses per second. Pulse wave shape, we're on sine. So it has to be on sine or triangle to activate quiet pulse. So here's quiet pulse here. settings. Um, it's pretty sweet. Let's give this a shot here. So it's going to give me a 21 second post flow because I had 210 amps, but that laid out really nice. I had it, I had uh, 210 amps at the beginning, but I had it at frequency at 250. So that, that high pitch noise was the frequency at 250. We change, we can change that here. We'll get into that. Let's go down the pro set. So I was at 250. Now I'm going to run it at 120. You'll notice the change in frequency on that. Noise on that as well. It went way down, right? It's a lot quieter. But I, 
put it on pro set 120 hertz on the AC frequency. Um, I just I like 250 as a personal preference, but other than that, we are on soft square wave. Um, no quiet pulse on AC, but man, awesome little unit. So where we've been seeing a lot of good traction with these two tens is uh, smaller fab shops with the two tens or people like educational facilities too as well uh, but a lot of smaller fab or home hobby shops because for the price point and what you get on this unit boy you can do a lot of um, good aluminum projects with it right it'll weld up recommend it up to quarter inch you can obviously do thicker with a little bit of preheat um, but up to quarter inch aluminum I mean we're all day long you can do it so if you want though and you've got to get something done faster you need more amperage with the dynasty 300 which i have another video on um, and we'll link that all down below the dynasty 300 has 300 amps and it's a 60 percent dude it's like a 300 amps where this is only 200 amp or 210 amps at 60 percent so you get a little bit more amperage with the 300 um, but for the price point and the capability of this you're getting everything that you want you know the dynasty package offers in a smaller package in the dynasty 210 um, i think they're sweet I mean, the, the, they're very light too. I lifted it up on the table there, uh, the 210s, and obviously didn't have coolant in there when I lifted it up, but I got it up here, so it's, it's very portable, very light. Um, basically, the package are just sweet. They come ready to rock. Honestly, all I did was put a plug on, plug everything in, and we were welding. So, awesome. If you got any questions, comments, please leave them down below, um, and we'll do our best to answer them. Thanks again for watching, and stay tuned for some more.